in this short uh, video, I will show you how you can bypass some of the uh, requirements that are uh, demanded by the operating system when you install Windows 11. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click on install and I'll show you exactly the message, what it says. I'm just going to say I don't have a product key. I'm just going to select Windows 11 Pro and when I click next, boom, I'm prompted with this message. So it says this uh, PC doesn't meet the minimum requirement, blah, blah, blah. So this short, uh, ex this short video will show you how you can bypass this and install the operating system. I am doing this video on a virtual machine using Microsoft Hypervisor, all right, for illustration purposes. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to, once I get here, I'm just going to select Shift F10. And when I get Shift F10, I'm just going to type a reg edit. I'm just going to go into the registry, all right, and I'm going to uh, expand key local machine. I'm going to expand system and under system i'm just going to expand setup under setup right click and create a new key and you we're going to call it uh lab config and that's exactly what you're going to do you're going to name it lab config uh, otherwise it will not work so on the lab config you're going to right click and then you you're going to create three key d32 uh bit keys and the first one will be bypass RAM check. I fit exactly as I'm doing here. All right. Tap bypass RAM check. That, that will be the first one. Uh, and then change the value to one, of course. Now, um, second key is going to call, it's going to be called bypass TPM check. All right. Exactly as shown. One is RAM, was DPM, and we're going to also change the value to one. And the third key is going to be called uh, bypass secure bullet check. Okay, so it's important that you write them exactly as I'm showing here. The B, the S, the B, and the C have to be capital for this to work. And then, of course, uh, change the value to one. Okay. Once you do this, just close this uh, window, close this window, and then try it again. So I'm just going to say, I don't have a product key. I'm just going to go ahead and install Windows, and let's see what happens. Voila. I'm able to install it, so I can go ahead and say, yeah, and then the installation will continue to them. If you like the, this short video, please uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you, and have yourself a great day.